Hello family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the TLP Gardening Channel. Uh, my name is April and I am bringing y'all out here on this beautiful day uh, to plant a few more things I'm trying to get out in the spring season. But before we get to that, I want y'all to check my outfit. Internet cousin, shout out to Broke Farmer 76. I got my t-shirt because you know we're all family out here. We're gardening family. So, um, I'm not going to talk a whole bunch today. I just, like I said, I had some soil I had just purchased. A few more things I want to get out here in this garden to soak up this beautiful sun and this good weather. Um, that can still take these cool temperatures. Um, while we've got that spring fever, it's time to get it. Alright, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Alright guys, so this is what we're doing. I've already put some um, holes drainage holes in my cement mixer I just drilled them in because you know you always have to have a uh, drainage you don't want any standing water in your plants or in your planter all right so I've done that already and I'm just gonna dump this I just got my uh, potty mix and I'm just gonna dump that in why because we got to use our time wisely out here in the garden <laughs> Some of us don't have hours at a time to commit. Like me, I, I kind of got to get it in in between time. In the meantime, like when I have my breaks or, you know, in between getting my kids or what, at, what have you. Um, we got to work with our schedule because sometimes that can be an excuse of why people don't garden saying they don't have the time. And hopefully... Hopefully on my channel, I'll be able to show you, uh, kind of kill, help kill that excuse. Because um, you don't have to take a whole bunch of time to do this. Um, I'm putting, I put my potty mix in, put a little perlite in here. Um, and I wanted to get a little bit of a fertilizer. Y'all give me one second, I'll get my fertilizer. Alright guys, I'm back. And now I know this might be, I'm just going to put some of this in there. And it may be a debate. You know, to fertilize or not to fertilize when, because I'm going to plant seeds. I don't have any, um, the only thing I have that's already started is some more, uh, garlic. So I know it could be a debate on whether or not to fertilize when you're putting in seeds or what have you. Um, but it ain't worth the debate. Go for what you know. And if you ain't sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure that nature will take its course. And if you need to add fertilizer later on and don't want to add it to your initial um you initially doing your potty mix then don't. don't then don't you know of course there is a right and right and wrong way to do things but sometimes it's not a right or wrong thing it's just what you prefer so i'm just adding a little bit of that fertilizer to my soil and mixing in the perlite uh, just to add of course extra drainage um because sometimes you can get a, some soil that ain't, ain't as loose as you want it and light and fluffy in areas you want it. And like I told y'all before, I had got a hold of a lot of that. Um, a lot of that. See, look at this thing. See how muddy? I don't know if you can tell. That's wet soil. And that soil that's been sitting in my house, I bought it like that. Not on purpose necessarily. But because um, I had gotten purchased soil like right after the, the snow. So you had all those bags of soil that Lowe's had already put out that had melted snow in them, if they, you know, that were just sitting outside. So I got a damp, a bag of damp, heavy soil. So I'm adding extra drainage there. And I want to show y'all this. You see this? I got this bag of organic potting mix with worm castings, with worm castings and Y'all, I love this stuff. Um, and do y'all know where I got this soil from? I got this from, and I don't know how many people have Lidl. It's like a, to me, it's like another Aldi type store. But they sell, at this time of year, they sell soil. And when I tell y'all that this stuff is light, I don't break my back picking this thing up at all. It's light and airy and fluffy, and I just feel like when they tell me they got worm castings in this, I believe them. 
It's like some of the first soil, <laughs> soil that I bought. And I like this stuff. So, anyway, I know it's tomato, tomato. A lot of people are just like, just get whatever kind of soil, which is true. Which is true. But I just thought I'd mention that because I... When I was fooling with all that soil from that wet soil, I hurt my back a little bit. Just more perlite and mixing and breaking it up, any clumps, etc. etc. A little more perlite, and I'm just kind of doing it in layers so that I don't have soil on the bottom and it got all this drainage, and the top is not well drained. Or vice versa. Like I said, this stuff is light. I ain't hard having to try to pull some of that wet soil from the bottom and kind of mix it in. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Um, when the wind is blowing. But yeah, y'all, it's that time of year. I'm starting to see the birds. I'm starting to see the bugs. We all out here together. All right. A little more. And to be honest with y'all, when we're talking about time for me, this is the part that takes the most time. Um, I used to have like a little mixing bowl, and because I would normally be planting in smaller pots, I have a little mixing bowl that I use and mix my stuff up real good and add whatever I wanted to add to the soil. But you see, like I said, my time is limited today, but I have to get this done today along with other stuff. So this is how we roll. But for me, this is the part that really take the most time is getting the soil out your bag, out your car, out your, if you got a garage, getting it out the garage, making sure you have all your tools out here before you get started. That's really the part to me that takes the most time. I want to see. Now this container, I want to kind of have it filled up enough. I don't know how deep the roots are for what I want to plant. That's the one thing I didn't check on. Um, but I've seen these things grown in cement mixers. So I'm sure they'll be fine, but I want to make sure I give it enough soil. So I am going to try to fill this one up more to the little tippy top. Yeah, open up one more bag of soil. And right now, it was a small bag, but I've already went through one and a half bags of some uh, small bag of soil. And I'm opening up this third bag here. <laughs> That I definitely won't use all of, but mm. Ooh, come on here. I should have had my scissors out here. enough I hope and y'all I may have to get another bag of perlite I hope not I don't want to have to go back in the house yeah that should be all right uh, yes I'm very excited y'all I'm gonna do another um update on my patio garden um because I had shown y'all some things and stuff I needed to clean up and pull out and uh rearrange and 
showed y'all my pots and stuff that I it, nothing had ever sprung up and couldn't really remember what I planted. And because the thing was laying, laying dormant, I was like, Lord, I, I think I planted, you know, seeds in there. Um, well, since we made that video, some stuff has come up. So I'm excited to share that with you guys when I get a moment. But we got to get to the, today get to the task at hand. All right. Now I'm going to show y'all what we're doing. I got this, um, let me get down here with y'all. I got this, um, what is it called, y'all? Cocoa liner. Um, and I'm going to plant some flowers in this. Some, now, forgive me, I'm going to say this. Nasturtia? <laughs> I think I said it right. I'm going to put that in here. And I'm just going to set this just on the edge somewhere. Just lean it up against, on top of this. Because what I want to plant in the cement mixer is my purple, see that? My purple broccoli. Um, and then I'm just going to stick some more of my garlics, some more of my garlics in there, and then just put these nasturtiums off here to the side. Now, why I'm going to put the nasturtiums in a separate, uh, pot is because I heard nasturtiums can be invasive, okay, so they can kind of take over, um, and I don't want it to do that, and then I also heard that they do attract, um, uh, the things that like to the aphids and things that like to attack your vegetation. Um, so I wanted to, if they do are attracted to it, I want this in here. And one thing, another thing I want to get more into, which I'm excited about, I want to start planting more things that are edible that the average person may not know is edible. One, because I think it's amazing. Nasturtiums is an edible flower. Um, and you just have to do your own research. I don't know if there's any allergies or anything that could go wrong from you eating them, but they are edible. And I want to do more and more edible things that the average person may not know is edible. Um, one, because I think it's beautiful, and it just shows nature and creation. But also, you know, it's some evil people out here in this world. And if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, <laughs> and somebody want to come get me for my food, I'll still have food left because they don't even know. Right, I think I heard, um, God, I can't even say his name because I don't want to misquote. It was, I think it was either um, the VA Growing Gardener or um, Hands in the Dirt. Forgive me, brothers, if I if, for not knowing which one of you said this. But they were talking about growing moringa and talking about how that same thing about them, it being something that's edible that people would not know uh, is food. So anyway, I want to get into that with flowers. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're about to plant this broccoli, the garlic, and the nasturtiums. See what these seeds look like. I'm, I'm sure they look like, well, I'm not sure of anything. I'm going to say I'm sure they look like my regular green broccoli seeds, but they may not. Let's see what we got. small seeds. I hope y'all can I see that. Got it up where y'all can see that. Anyway, they're rather small and I'm going to do something that I don't normally like to do because I just don't like the way it feels on me, but I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. I was going to say I was going to wet my soil. So the seeds won't go every which of where. But I'm just going to not plant it too deep. Hopefully it won't float every which of where. I'm not doing it too deep. I, I normally look at the instructions on the back of the package. Um, it says uh, seed spacing one inch. And I don't see on here the depth. So I'm going to just plant them about the same, um, about the same uh, depth that I did the green sprouting broccoli. And 
and I'm literally putting one single seed in each hole. Why? Huh? I got faith they're going to come up one. And then two, if I'm planting enough seeds that if one doesn't come up in a hole, it'll still, it'll still fill out when you get to the greenery. Um, it'll still fill out. I'm not going to go too wild because broccoli can get big. If you want big heads, you don't want to overcrowd it. And then I'm going to leave room for my um, my good old garlic. And y'all know I'm just putting, I'm just, you bury it to cover everything but the, the tip. If it hasn't sprouted and just cover up everything, you know, uh, and let your sprouts be exposed. Kind of try to pat this soil down. Kind of get your air pockets out of there. So you know. The wind is blowing so my little empty bags of soil are going every which way. But that's alright. It's in here. Push it down. Y'all know something else I heard about in my research about the nasturtiums. Um, I heard that they were really hardy. And what I mean by hardy, I don't mean cold hardy or heat tolerant. Well, they do like uh, cooler temperatures. They're flowers that like cooler temperatures, cooler weather. But that they're hardy as far as they're just not picky. Look at that. They look like nuts. Don't they? Like some nuts you'd eat. Anyway, um... I heard that they're not picky about what type of soil they're in. So I didn't do much of anything. I just put my soil in here and I added like a wheat, whatever what was left in my bag of the uh, of the perlite. And I'm just sticking them in here and covering them up. I think I'm going to put about mm -hmm, maybe five in here. All right, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to water these things in. Y'all know how to water, so I don't have to show y'all that. <laughs> but I'm going to get my watering can and water these things real good, and I'm going to go on about my day. But y'all have a wonderful day. And remember, your space is not too little. Your budget's not too little. Uh, your space is not too little. Your time is not too little to do a big thing like gardening. And this is April again, and I will see y'all again in the garden. Bye.